the producer. Look, a good producer on a set can be a joy to work with, but a bad producer can make a director miserable. This is my continuing series where I talk to you in basic terms about the different positions on a set behind the scenes of filmmaking. And I'm talking about the producer today. There's a lot of different producer positions too, but I'm gonna try and talk in a basic way about what a producer is. You know, there's producer, there's executive producer, there's associate producer, there's a lot happening there. We're just gonna talk about a producer in basic terms. Producer is kind of like a manager. They are responsible for, number one, financing. The director very seldom comes to the table with financing. The producer is the one who finds financing for a film. And with that in mind, of course, they found the financing, so they're gonna be very particular about how that money is spent. And a big part of their job is managing that. You have a line producer who's very specific about line items and cost. But overall, a producer manages it. They coordinate the team. The director picks their team, but then the producer pays the team and manages the team and kind of tells them when to come and go. And the producer is the one who comes on set and reminds the director that you're about to run into overtime. Those types of things. Very managery type stuff is where the producer usually comes in. Now, a lot of people think that when a movie is being made, that the director comes to a studio with a script. And that does happen, and it happens often, but also just as often, maybe more often, is a producer finds a script that they love and want to make. And they cultivate that script with writers and, and get it completed. And then that director comes in at the request of the producer. Often the producer will look at many directors and offer them the opportunity and to come in and make the movie. So a lot of times the producer is in it first. So not only have they found the script, cultivated the script with the writer and found the funding, they bring in the director and then the director brings in their crew and the cast and all that. So with that in mind, as a filmmaker, as a creative, you start to understand why the producer can be so specific about how a set is being run because they've invested a lot, usually more than the rest of the crew. So they can be very difficult to work with because a lot of times a producer is someone that doesn't necessarily have the creative vision. And if they don't get on the same page as the director, it can be really, really tough because they're bean counting. They're mostly looking at the money and how it's spent, where the director can sometimes not be paying as much attention to that and looking mostly at telling the story. So hopefully if you have a good relationship, you kind of come together in the middle. Associate producers are generally assistants to the producer. The producer has a lot of tasks at hand. They're managing the money. They're managing the cast and crew. They're managing sets. They're looking at documents. They're managing SAG documents a lot of times if it's a SAG production. So there's a lot of things happening. They can't do it all. So they have an associate producer. I've seen situations where an associate producer credit is just sort of given to someone who was key in one aspect of getting a film made. Maybe they only did that one thing, but because they did that one thing, the film got made. And that's where uh, an uh, associate producer credit can sometimes come in. Executive producers are similar in that they can put their name on something, like Steven Spielberg would be an executive producer for a film. He might not do that much specifically for the film, but by putting his name on it, it helped it get funding, helped it get distribution, that kind of thing. Helped it get rights to music, stuff like that. So that's a lot of times where an executive producer title comes in. Now that's not to say the associate producer and executive producer aren't hands-on because in other situations they are. I'm just telling you some of the different ways that those titles are given. Generally the producer is the ground pounder though. They're the ones who help put the film together and help keep the ball rolling while the film is being made through pre-production, production, and even post-production. So as a creative, like I said, Working with a producer can be really, really challenging sometimes, but if you find a producer that you can really work well with, that's again, like the director working with the same editor and the same cinematographer on every film because they have a, a great language. It can be the same with a producer. You'll have producers and directors work together over and over and over again because they've established trust. So if you have any questions about a producer, let me know. I'm being very sort of Google Maps about this, a Google worldview. If you want to know more specifics, feel free to hit me in the comments and we can talk more about this.